Good evening, everyone. Hello, Nick. Hey, Rich, how are you? All right. Nice day today. Yes, it is. Hi, Deborah. Hello, how are you? It's so good Hi, to see you, Nicholas. Yes. Uh, waiting to see if more people log in so yeah, far. No let me see. So I have with far. me my colleague Alexis McKenzie, who's. I see that, and we have Miss Boyd also Hi. present today. Welcome. Hi, hi, Miss Boyd. Hello, Rich. <laughs> oh, thank you. Hi. Alicia Boyd, the most uh, popular member. <laughs> well, I'm waiting to see if we have enough people for home before we get started. If we don't, we'll just want to try to go to as much, except that none of the um, particulars won't be official until we get uh, the column. So we could discuss the general point in the agenda and see what happens. So let's see, it's now 7 of 7. So uh, we'll have waiting for board members and uh, uh, community members of this particular committee. I want to need that computer too. You presenting tonight, uh, Deborah? And, and yes, we were on the agenda. We were swapping in for uh, Julia Bryant to to try to engage um, the committee around our plans to restore the veil. Um, we've been doing a lot of outreach over the past month. It's been actually a month since we started our outreach. Um, mm -hmm. And I'm um, just trying to solicit as much feedback as we can from the community before we embark on design. We received the funding last in the in late 2020, and we're looking to embark on design this spring. Congratulations. Yeah, we were really excited. It was a great um, allocation by the city to restore an area that actually has not seen restoration in over 50 years. Um, so it's a great opportunity to add some amenities and um, some some and improve the visitor experience in that area. Pardon Hello. me, but Hello. The Vale in Prospect Park? Yes. 143 Noble Street? Yeah. I I think you have the wrong number. Hello, Alicia Boyd. <laughs> okay. I well, I'm relatively well. I've, I've been on the this uh, committee for about a half a year. I know Nick from. Uh, Brooklyn Tech High School.
It's been a very exciting meeting so far. <laughs> Nicholas, did you are you giving more time to see if others are joining? He's on the street recruiting them right now. We can always come back to the general meeting if that ends up being more impactful. I know that general meetings happening, I think. Really? Maybe the following week. I feel like that's what I was told. Do you two live in uh, uh, the area in the district? Yeah, well, not the district, but in Brooklyn. Alexis McKenzie, you want to, sh uh, you could live south of the park, we'll say. <laughs> And then I live in Park Slope. Okay. <laughs> Have you been a long term, long time resident of the of the community? Uh, I live. I live on Rutland Road in the Leopards Gardens area. Yeah, Brooklyn. it's beautiful there. It's beautiful. Yeah, I, we moved in twenty five years ago. So. Wow. So you've seen uh, lots of change. Yeah. Yeah. In. Yeah, I think you uh, lost me for a minute there. Uh, <laughs> is it Khalid or me? I will for first tonight co hosting. Good evening, Nicholas. It's Khalid. Khalid. Good evening, everybody. Can anyone hear me? Rich, can you hear me? Yeah, we can hear you. Yeah. I'm looking at you. I'm looking at your strong arm there. Wow, I'm with Khalid. I want to see your handsome face. <laughs> now I can, I can hear you. Okay. Uh, let's see. Bow, bow, bow. Let's see what the attendance is. Nick, are you still doing that uh, fair that you, you were proposing? Yes, as a matter of fact, there's new information on it. The board's uh, the date on it. That's one of the things we're going to talk about primarily today. Um, the fair is not set up for June 4th. That's Saturday. June 4th, okay. Okay. Because mm -hmm. primarily, the, one of the work of this meeting is primarily to get all the members of the committee to really get uh, started and try to engage all the other agencies in, in interacting of, in terms of the fair. Mm I was under the impression that the park that uh, the park alliance was going to be making a presentation today. Well, they're going to be talking very quickly about one of the activities uh, there. So activities. Uh, yes, it was simply an activity to that's uh, a discussion. I will approach that, and they basically going to be a very, very, very short presentation. I wouldn't call it a presentation. It's more than an announcement than a presentation. It's an announcement they are here to make. It's not a presentation. It's so they're not going to be giving us details? Well, they'll give us as much detail. They have five or six minutes to, to, do, their, uh, to do their presentation. And five or six minutes? That sounds like yeah. a community <laughs> board presentation, not a community. Ah, well, not a because uh, since you have not, since you didn't attend the last meeting, though, well, the purpose of coming to a committee is to learn more information about a particular project. Five minutes is a presentation that you at a community board, not at a committee. It's my understanding that there's a major project about to happen in the parks uh, in Crossway Park. And this is the first time that they're coming to the community board to discuss this. And you're telling me they're going to only have five minutes? Let us know she was not going to be able to be there today. Then we, in discussion, I need to make an announcement, and she's here to make that announcement. So it wasn't a planned presentation. It's something at the last minute. She's just going to make so an when announcement. Is, when is the planned presentation going to happen? When are we going uh, to be able to hear the details of the project and be able to ask questions about this project? As I've been planning, it was going to be scheduled in May. This today is an announcement. Not a presentation. May. So they plan they on coming back in May to give a more Absolute. detailed description Look, they about this project? I plan to invite project? them back in May to do their full presentation. That's my plan. That's the plan that was made. Okay. So if you were under the impression of making a presentation, you were misinformed. 
Well, well then maybe let her speak for herself. Um, Kirk, oh, she will. Oh no, she would okay. have it. When do you speak. plan on coming no, to the community? Uh, hold on, she doesn't have to answer you right now because the meeting has not started. Let me start the meeting okay. formally, then we could hear. It's already seven fifteen. Oh, well, I see it's seven fifteen. I was waiting for a forum since it's seven fifteen. So we're gonna just have a conversation. It's not going to be a meeting where anything can be voted on, and that's supposed to be a planning meeting where we're going to vote on various items. But as I'm looking at here, we only have seven people present, and only me, Mena Legute, and uh, Rich Lubell are a member of the committee. That's hardly a quorum. Well, I don't think I need a quorum to ask questions about a project. Oh, no, no, you, you, could, ask, you could ask a question. Like I'm saying you could always ask whatever question you want. That doesn't mean you're going to get the answer you like, but you could definitely ask your question. But well, why don't you just let her speak for herself? Because she might be. Oh, she will. Advice. She will speak for herself. You okay. have a chance to ask a question. So it's up to her. Okay. So we just give, since there is nobody here, it's not 22, 21. Um, 8.21, so let's uh, make this, let's start this meeting. I wanna welcome everyone to this meeting. And why don't everyone introduce themselves as we always do. Let's say who you are and what your affiliations. Okay, we would like to start, Rich. Okay, he hello everybody. Uh, I was a former high school teacher along with Nick himself at Brooklyn Tech High School. And I retired five years ago, and I live in uh, Lefferts Gardens on Rutland Road with my wife, Selena, and uh, I'm involved in the arts. Uh, I'm a guide at the Brooklyn Museum, otherwise known as a docent, although we haven't been doing a lot of that during the pandemic, you can imagine, but it's starting up again. And I'm also, I teach... Uh, Art history and painting through the United Federation of Teachers for the retirees, which is a lot of fun. Um, if you know anybody who's a teacher or a spouse of a teacher, they could take those classes. Uh, and I'm also an exhibiting printmaker. So enough about me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> How about Miss uh, Phillips? Uh, I just want to ask Mena, as our vice chair, would you kindly take the minutes for us since our secretary is not able to be here today? I uh, look like you're on the road. <laughs> you're, mute, you're, mute, you're muted too, Mena. You, you're muted too. Look like you're on the road. Well, I wish I may ask you to do the honors today. She's on the road. There's no way she can do this thing here. Is it possible? Mine, are, you, you... Man, are you still muted? She doesn't know she's muted. She doesn't know she's muted. Uh, maybe you could send her. Uh, Khal is it Kali that's here? Kali or Mia? Kali? It's Khalid Nicholas. How can I can help you. Can you can you give her a call? I don't know if she's still muted. It looks like she's getting off. Oh, she's look like she's home. Okay. Um, I mute. don't have Mina's number on me immediately. It'll take me a while to find it. Okay. All she right. Might have, she might have her volume all the way down so she can't hear that we're telling her. Oh, Mina, go ahead. Oh, go ahead. I'm Mina. sorry. Yeah, we could not hear Wait. you. I know you were trying to say. Can something. you hear me now? Yeah. Okay. All yes, right. So let's, I can do. I can do it from afar. Let me just um I can take the notes. Just give me a moment. Oh, I'm so sorry. Oh, I appreciate it. Okay, yeah, take your time. Take your time. Take your time. Well, because we're only doing an introduction, so we'll go back. Okay. And uh, the next person is Miss Edward, Paula Edward. I understand you from Prospect Park Alliance. A little bit more about you. Hi everyone. Can you hear me? Yeah. Yes, we can. I'm Alexis McKenzie, Paul and Edwards, the Community and Government Relations Coordinator at the Prosper Park Alliance, and um, I'm supporting Deborah on this project to, you know, share information about the Vale Restoration with everybody in the community and, you know, seek your feedback. So happy to be here and happy to hear your thoughts. 
Che, and of course we have uh, Ms. Boyd. Can you tell us in your affiliation, please? I'm Alicia Boyd. I'm a, um, a member of the community. Thank you. And last but not least is uh, Ms. Deborah Kershner from Prospect Park Alliance. Hi, everybody. Um, yes, I'm Deborah Kirshner. I'm the head of community relations at Prospect Park Alliance, and um, I'm glad to be joining you this evening and um, glad for uh, connecting with Nicholas as always. He's um, been wonderful to be working with. So, thank you. Okay, you might have come. And of course, I have Nicholas, I'm the chair of the Park Recreation and Culture Committee. So, uh, like it says, I'm a former retired teacher. From New York City Department of Education. So I love what's happening in the park. I love what's happening in the art of in the region. So I'm trying to bring ideas and concept with the support of the community, but an elected so to so we could enhance and promote the art culture in this particular community board. Uh, Mela, it's your turn. Yes, yeah, oh, did you want me? Oh, sorry, sorry, Mina. Sorry. Sure. Thank you, Mina. Yes. Mina. <laughs> Nicholas doesn't like my name. It's okay. Um, <laughs> I'm Mina. I'm a member of the community board. I've been on the board for maybe a year and a half. I'm a member. Um, I live in Prospect Leopards Gardens on Nostrin and Sterling Street. I joined the committee because not the committee. I joined the board because. Um, there's so many things that need to be done in the community that I'd like to help out with. Um, personal thing about me, I'm a runner and I love running in Prospect Park and in the neighborhood. Thank you, Myla. Our next step in the agenda was the approval of the last two meeting minutes, which we cannot do today because we do not have a call. So from there, we're gonna to move to public commentary. Is there, are there any public commentary? Well, yes, I have a, a public comment. I just wanted to know okay. when was five minutes. When was this project that had basically went silent for two, almost three years, all of a sudden has popped back on the radar with very vague details on the website? Supposed to be forty a forty million dollar project that started out with like ten million and now it's forty million. No very clear details about what that forty million dollars is supposed to be doing. There was supposed to be a presentation at the park at the land use committee that got canceled, and then I was told to come to the parks committee. Now I'm being told it's just an announcement, but then here comes the young lady saying, "Oh no, we want to hear what you have to say about the project." How can we have a discussion or have a say about a project that we don't know anything about? Especially because you kind of put this back on the table kind of unexpectedly um, after being silent for quite some time. And I want to find out where I can find details about this project. I'm not talking about that little link on your page that doesn't tell you much. I'm talking about the plans the actual development plans, um, and have you done an environmental impact? Okay. Has anybody looked at the proposed plans and decided to figure out what kind of impact it's gonna be making um, environmentally? Um, now I'm hearing all kinds of rumors and the rumors are that restaurants and yeah, I think there's, I, mean, I haven't stuff. even presented yet. I don't know if maybe Nicholas, it makes sense for me to start by presenting, like at least giving some context before we start taking questions. Cause I haven't even said a word yet <laughs> about why I'm here joining you today. I know, but this is the public comment period session. So that means I have the right to speak. Oh, I'm sorry. And Alicia, say whatever it is that I, I want to say. I hadn't announced what I was here to present yet. So it seemed a little out of order to take questions before we actually. Well, this is the, the this project. is the order that he decided to put okay, it in. That's fine. He decided to put the public comment period session before okay. your presentation. Nicholas, so whatever I you think makes the most sense, I'm happy to do. And because this is the way that he decided to put the okay. order, I have the right to speak. Yeah, that's is that okay with you, fine. Deborah? This is not my meeting. I just was I'm not clear on the okay. agenda. 
Nicholas, okay. did you want me to um, to answer questions right now? I'm happy to do that. Nicholas, what happened? You're muted. I speak anyway, as I was I saying. Could, I can answer your questions because I know you have very many. And um, I think that um, just to give some background, um, Prospect Park Alliance is, a, is the nonprofit that operates the park in partnership with the city that we've been restoring landscapes in the park for the past 35 years. Um, we've done everything from the carousel to the 250 acres of woodlands in the middle of the park called the ravine. Um, so woodland restoration, landscape restoration is central to our mission and it's work we've been doing for 35 years. So we have a pretty strong track record in that area. Um, this area of the park where we're seeking restoration has been on our radar for, for care um, for many years now. It has not been touched by restoration for over 50 years and it's an area of the park that's always been on our priority list. Um, however, we don't always get the funding we need from electeds and we do things as we can as we work with electeds. So we were um, able to um, really try to focus on this area in the past five years. And we did work with a nonprofit called Hester Street to go out into the community to get feedback and insight in what they'd like to see in that area. And once we had that insight together, we were able to propose a vision for this space that was based on what the community told us they'd like to see. The reason that it's been somewhat quiet is that we didn't have the funding to implement anything. We had to get the funding from the city. So we were lucky enough that the mayor de Blasio in his last term, he allocated $40 million in the city's capital budget to be able to improve these landscapes. So they came out of a two year community engagement process. It builds upon the 35 years of restoration work that the Alliance has done in the park. Um, and what we're doing right now is we've spent the past month, um, we're, we're in the next several weeks, soliciting feedback from the public on the vision we have for this landscape um, before we actually go into design. So I think tonight we were hoping to present to the Parks Committee, but we are trying to get the word out much broader and we actually do want to be able to engage you know, members of the community board. This, to, we, we consider this landscape to be a gateway to Crown Heights and to Flatbush and Prospect Leopards Gardens. It's on the east side of the park. So it's important for us to hear from residents in those areas. I was actually going to say, you know, we just had a we just presented to the general meeting of community board eight, which was really productive. Um, so I was going to raise again, Nicholas, maybe if there is a possibility to be part of the general meeting to engage a broader audience, that would be really wonderful for Alexis McKenzie and I. Um, but we know that there's a lot on the agenda, so we don't want to impose. Um, well, I can answer as a result of this meeting, we're going to bring this information to the executive board who makes the agenda for the general me general board meeting and they'll make the decision. Now, I will recommend they will put that on the agenda for the general meeting. this. Month. Yeah, if you're able to, like we literally, we just, Alexis McKenzie and I just, exited one WebEx and went on to another, but we had a really productive meeting with the Community Board 8 general meeting. They had about, I think they had about 30 to 40 people there. So it was a really That's great- really well attended. Yeah, it was a really great way to hear from a wide range of people. And what we're doing is we're taking notes and we're incorporating it into the larger documents. We're once again, working with the nonprofit Hester Street. So they're helping us with a lot of outreach over the past month. They're going to incorporate it all into a kind of game plan for us so we know what the community was excited about, what their concerns were, what are some things they'd like us to think about as we embark on design. So it would be really helpful to be able to reach a broader audience. Um, I also will say um, we do have a website that we created for this project. It is prospectpark.org slash veil. So that's where we have presentation boards that have specific details on our vision for this space. And it also has a feedback form where people can actually type in their feedback. Um, so that's another way that we can get the word out to the community. I know Khalid, I think Khalid's on today. He helped me share that information in your newsletter, which was super helpful and we really appreciated that. So, so any way we can get in front of you, we really just wanna get the feedback from Community Board 9, however we're able to do it um, and hear from a wide range of, of people in the district. Yes.
you repeat the, the website, please? Yeah, I can also put it in the chat. It's prospectpark.org forward slash Vale. So that's V as in Victor, A L E. Actually, I'm not sure if there is a chat. Alexis McKenzie, do you see the chat? <laughs> no, we do not have. We do not have. We do oh, you don't have, have a chat. It. Okay, no worries. No we worries. We do not have okay. a chat. No so like, you could send that in. You could send that information to Khalid, and then and then anybody yes. else would like. Yeah, he had circulated it once before, we'll so we can follow up with that. Mm -hmm. It's fine. Okay. Okay. Thank well, you. Then... So we had some technical. No, it's support. okay. Thanks yeah. for so having thank us. Thank you for your. Mm -hmm. Yeah, maybe we'll hop off um, to let you continue your meeting, and then well, yeah. I, I look forward before, to regrouping with before you. Before you hop off, I just yeah. want to bring two addition to the sure. two of you. The June 4th is going to be the district-wide fair. We would like for you guys to help us to yeah. come and bring that same information and tables with the information, general information prospect park alliance, because the district welfare is going to reach out to every kind of services that's within the community. So we're going to call on anybody who's done presentation to almost every community to see they could come and be present there along with all the city, as many as we can of the city agencies and nonprofits and other people doing work within the community. We're probably, we're, I think there's plan to have rides for children. Uh, I mean, the Health and Social Service Committee, I know, are planning a whole panoply of health-related activity, including having a podiatrist present. There will be some food distribution, all kind of stuff. So we're putting together what it's called, uh, what I, uh, what would be a combination of a health fair, food fair, job fair, and, and as many a resource fair for as many services that the community needs. So each committee within the board will be working to, to be part of this particular activity. Yeah, it sounds okay. amazing. We would love to be part of it. I know John Jay so, was in touch with us about it. So just give us the details of where it's taking place and when, and we'll try to see if we can have a table we can set up with right. materials. We really um, appreciate that. I think the email went out. I don't know if you were part of the email chain. The date uh, it was uh, being changed to June 4th, supposed to be right across the Brooklyn Museum, between the Brooklyn Museum and Prospect Heights High School. On oh, the, that's great. Uh, yeah, I don't know if I got the email, but I'll follow up with Dante and Kali to make sure I have the information. Great. Well, thank you so much. We look forward to being part of that. And we thank you all for your partnership. And um, Nicholas, we'll follow up to see if there's any way of getting us on the general meeting. So we'll keep our fingers crossed. Okay. Thank you. Everybody. Thank you for attending and thank you, Mrs. Paul Edwards. Yes, it seems that Nicholas is having some internet difficulties. Oh, that's okay. No worries. Okay, well, um, Khalid will speak maybe tomorrow. I appreciate all your help, everyone. Of course. Thank you, thank you for your time. Goodbye. Okay. Bye. Good night. Good night. Good night. Okay, the next item on the agenda was the report from the values uh, uh, community liaison. The only person I have here present is Rich. Nobody else is here. So, uh, what can you tell us what's happening at the Brooklyn Museum and what efforts and what I would like to ask everyone, I think I'm going to call each of the different members separately, what, um, what, uh, how can we engage the Brooklyn Museum to be part? Because that's just the question we want to do today, to be part of that district wide fair on June 4th. Oh, it's hmm. a good idea. Um, I don't know whether I could talk to uh, my supervisor for, uh, and let her know. And uh, maybe they'll put a table out there or something. You know, it's, we're obviously they're right around the corner from the, the park, right? Right. Mm -hmm. well, it's off um, there. It's, it's off their parking lot. Yeah. It's. So, I know that little park. It's. It's named after the astronaut. That park, right? Right. Correct. It used to be yeah. Dider Park before. Now it's Ronald Merkel, but one of the black astronauts we lost in one of those uh, shuttle yeah. incidents. Mm -hmm. It's a nice little park. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. I mean, it's good for this event. I think. Um, I don't want to disappoint you too much, but I'm not going to be available that that particular Saturday. Okay. Don't have me there uh, unless I 
come much later in the day, but right. I have a big, big event that day. Okay. Yeah. Well, I understand that. What's more important for me at this time? How can we get the institution to respond and be part of the activity? That's okay. more important at this point. Um, is there anything that's been uh, printed, you know, like relative to email or something like that? No, I think all that will probably be coming soon after probably this uh, community board and Georgina or board meeting this month. Okay. Flyers and all it's this. Basically... So I think, I think there's a save the dead flyer that's been printed. That's all. It's a uh, community fair is what it's called, right? Right. Mm -hmm. There's a save the dead flyer. That's all I so, but there will be more specifics because we are working the mechanics and some of the stuff because one of the things we need to do this particular activity is to get sponsors and there's supposed to be another meeting. There will be a special meeting, I think, for, for the various chairs, not an official meeting, to see, a working meeting to see what can be done. So let's see what happens on the pipe. Okay. Okay. I saw the PLG, one of the uh, vice chairs of the PLG, he's aware of. The so you're talking, yes, you're talking about Rina Cleage and uh, Hollis Hedrick. Yeah. Hollis Hedrick, who lives down well, the block from me. We, well, we talked about it. Well, so, oh, yeah. great, because they did a presentation in uh, to the in this committee, and then, like I said, yeah. everybody will present it. We're going to reach out to them to see if they can yeah. come. Yeah, I, so it's, I was it's, at that, I was yeah. at that uh, committee meeting, yeah, yeah, because the idea is our committee meeting has so many little people so we need to find a way for to bring all that and more than one way to the community so a fair what is just another way to do it okay okay thank you Mena, is there anything you like to add minor <laughs> ah, oh sorry minor 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 <laughs> uh, i'm gonna get my i'm gonna get it right believe don't me. worry next oh, meeting well. i have an idea to help you remember I have, I'll, thank you i'll okay. take care of it I appreciate um, it. Mm -hmm. No minor, she's major. <laughs> yeah. Terrible, oh, terrible. well, that's my clue. <laughs> I think that's a good way to remember. Um, let's see, what do I have to say? Over the past two months ago, I joined the Prospect Park Track Club. Mm -hmm. They are that's a so part of the thing they do, yeah. they can't find them because they all mixed up together. So how do mm -hmm. we separate them? I'm sorry. Wait. Keep going. Um, yeah, that oh, sounds great, Mina. I'm, I'm excited. And yeah, they're they're very they're a very organized group. Um, and they have their own meetings every month, a general board meeting, a general um meeting every month. And one of the things that they mentioned at the last meeting was that they had done a table at uh, at some event a few weeks prior. And I was thinking maybe we could ask them if they want to be a part of our event on June 4th. Um, and in addition to asking them, there are other running clubs in the community. I know that there's um, Crown Heights runners and I'm not sure of the other ones, but Prospect Park Track Club and Crown, he Crown, Crown Heights runners um, running club are two of the major ones that I, that I can think of. And I could research the others to see if they want to come to the event or what they can offer, if anything, to help the event. So. Um, hello? Hi. Yeah. You know, I got booted off of this um, meeting. I don't know how I managed to get booted off this meeting. So I didn't hear anything about the parks um, presentation, even though they didn't have a presentation, it was just an announcement. How do you propose that a person like myself can find out more information that's not just saying that I, I don't even know what they said. How do you? Maya, you took down the website, right? That talk about. Yes. A... She, um, Deborah gave us the website address, which is prospectpark.org forward slash veil, V A L E. Say that again. They haven't gotten. They haven't gotten to that part yet. They. They haven't gotten been to what part yet? To the part where they know what is being spent wherever. So they're working. She said they're working with Hester Street, a nonprofit, 
and they're getting answers and information from the community to see where to, they're doing outreach to the community to get more and, information. And, where, and when is the outreach supposed to happen in our community? Is this supposed to be a part of the outreach? She also asked to be a part of the general board meeting so she can give us more information there. Um, one thing is that, that I the do outreach? know. Is that what they classified as outreach? Oh, let me tell you that there's a project that we got $40 million for. And that's it. That's the outreach. Ms. Boyd, How are they supposed they to hear what Ms. we have to say about the project? Ms. Boyd, Prospect Park Alliance has notified the public for a while now on the Vail restoration. It has been a couple of weeks that at least from our end on the office, we've shared the information. Prospect Park Alliance also I, has And I went on that and I went on that platform which was very vague. It was one page. It Prospect Park Alliance. We're 40 million. Prospect yes. Park Alliance also has contact information where you'd be able to ask specific questions on the nature of the project and where budget would be allocated specifically for uh, any restorations that they are doing. I understand that you were booted off. You might be having internet difficulty issues because you're coming in and out. Uh, so I apologize that you're experiencing that. but. We will make sure that the Prospect Park Alliance information is available. I also am aware that Ms. Hilton had shared with you their uh, informational fact sheet. I will follow up with, with her tomorrow and making sure that you receive additional information as well as reaching out to Ms. Kirshner. I hope you're able to hear what I'm saying. I think you might be um, having internet difficulties right now as I'm responding. Khalid, this is Mina. I'd like to also add that as a part of the Prospect Park Track Club, they separately sent us a questionnaire um, asking and letting us know about the the what the Prospect Park Alliance is going to be doing. So they're reaching out, but I don't since I'm not a part of any major group aside from the Prospect Park Track Club, I haven't seen it anywhere else and from CB9, but they did contact Prospect Park Track Club to let us know that there was going to be something going on in, you know, that they were trying to find a way to spend this $40 million. And to ask for the community's input in that. So that's just one place area where I know that they have reached out for sure. Understood. We will confirm with Ms. Kirshner to see other uh, areas and means that she has notified the public. And we'll confirm that with Ms. Boyd. We're not hearing you. Nicholas, you're muted. Yeah, okay. Hold on. Can you hear me now? Yeah. Okay, Miss Lindsay. I'll just be joined by Miss Lindsay. Can you please introduce yourself? No, I'm here. I just came in. Sorry, I went to be coming early to hear what happened from the other night. Sorry. Okay. Um, uh, who and what uh, your affiliation and uh, uh, sorry, organization or otherwise or just a member of the community? I'm just a member of the community. I'm sorry, I live in Evansville. Oh, okay. okay. I was on the call the other night when they were talking about um the use of certain um sites and stuff and, and what was gonna be done about it, what kind of laws there were. So I wanted to know what happened with that. Are you referring to the district fair or the veil restoration at Prospect, uh, Prospect Park? I think they were talking about Prospect Park. Okay. Mm -hmm. well, well, my information should be forthcoming. Well, they're doing nice rich, uh, Richard campaign. I understand they also have some exhibit at the Brooklyn Library uh, concerning this, because at this point they're doing a survey, uh, they're trying to get members reaction the reaction for in terms of what that project looks like. Okay. So uh, since we do not have any more of our representative present, mm -hmm. uh, I think what we will. So um, what we're doing is um, we uh, uh, I want to want to end and then go with the work we're planning to do. We're not able to do because we have many people. That's why I'm going to try to contact every member individually to see what we can happen and what can we get done. And uh, at this point, I want to move to 
new business? Are there any new business? No, but, wait, uh, Nick, uh, question. Mm -hmm. Are we mm -hmm. going to meet? Is the culture committee going to meet through the summer? No, we are closed. Uh, there's no meeting between July and August. Okay. So everything I think uh, 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 year ends at the end of June. Okay, July okay. 1st. It's a new year, and the, the board, I mean, there's no general board meeting, and there's no committee meeting. But that shouldn't stop for people to have conversation about what's going to happen in September, and then, then we could make it official. Okay, so okay. because we didn't have a quorum, we didn't have enough people present, so the work that was planned to be done as it was at the last meeting, because I, I can understand to this especially being only Thursday for a lot of the religious people. So uh, okay. we, I would I, I probably try to see, I got to go and read the bylaws agreement to see the possibilities so we could have a special meeting to try to work on that. So I don't remember anything in that in the bylaws. So, I, so thought, you, no I, thought you said, I thought you said you had to consult the Bible for a second. No, 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 not the Bible, the bylaws. <laughs> well, this is the That's separation it. of this this church really, and state. The really separation of church and state. We will see the we will see the agency. <laughs> so church and state separation. That's, <laughs> That's good. This particular week is a very holy week. So, so that's you may want to cons consult uh, yes, the Bible. It is. As well. Yes, it is. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, it's, it's nice to see you. Now, are there any old? Are there any old? <laughs> no, thank you, Kelly, well, too. I appreciate you always hosting the meeting, too. Of course. I, I think everybody is experiencing. Um, internet difficulties probably because of the incoming storm um oh, maybe. yeah but the recording will definitely be up on the youtube i'll try to <laughs> set that up tomorrow so we can all review it if we'd like okay all right very good uh nice to see everybody yes nicholas can you hear us must be looking for a connection yeah I think that I think, yeah, he, I feel like he and Alicia were are experiencing the same issues. All right. Yes, All right. Uh, yes, I can hear you. So we could say this meeting yeah, is adjourned at uh, 8, 4, 842. Can you hear me, Philippe? Yes, I can hear you. Uh, can hear you. It's, it's 748 right now, Nicholas. Yes. Are you, so, are you, yes, you are you saying that you're adjourning the meeting right now, you said? Yes, yeah. I am because the oh. most well, there's not much we can do because we don't have enough people. Understood. No problem. Great. Okay, everybody have a good night. Thank you. Take care. Good night. Thank you, everyone. Good night, Mina. Good night, Rich. Good night. So, thank you, Mina. Thank you.